What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here, and we are going to set up a new game themed on Warhammer Empire and this other mod that I've been toying with but really want to have some fun with, Castle Walls. So, you'll see we also have all the other factions included from the Rimhammer series, uh, Beastmen, Dwarfs, and the Skaven is the mod I've been working on that's public. The Ogres are a mod I've been working on for donators only, so nobody really knows about that unless you're on Discord and you're a donor, donator. So this will be the first public appearance of that. <clears throat> so, there's some other stuff here. I will put a mod list in episode zero. That's this episode <laughs> of this playthrough. And if you uh, want to get into gameplay, just jump into episode one. There's no sense watching this if you don't care about the game setup. So we'll go, I want it to be pretty challenging. So I think we have enough people that we can turn off all the, no uh, do I want insects? They never really make an appearance anyway, but let's have a cannibal tribe. Those can be like psycho chaos dudes. And then otherwise, we'll have Empire, Beastmen. Well, we're going to leave the Outcasts on because that's just a way that somebody always hates you and will come try and kill you and bring you bring you stuff. <laughs> so we're going for the Ultimate Empire Castle. So let's rock that. We're going to do 100% and we're going to increase population a bit so we get more stuff mixed around. You'll see we have an Ogre. Oh, let's do two... Maybe we can theme this. Hmm, how would that look? Like we would do more Beastmen and more Skaven, like a Chaos Incursion. I guess like end time stuff. Maybe we'll do, does it really matter? I think you'll get more bases of those types if you do that, so why not? All right, that should be good. I jacked up the Beastmen, the, the basic Skaven and the Ogres. I might get rid of this. I don't know why that's really there, but I always start with compads mods and then work from there. So let's see. Let's look at some of these mods. Like I said, mod list will be in this episode. So you can just scroll down to the description. Halflings. Shit. Don't click these. It'll take you somewhere. <laughs> I left glowstone in. Uh, some biome stuff. Oasis. I love damage indicators. I think that one's fun. Whole thing's gonna be based on cast levels. So I have ogre stacks still. I'm torn. It definitely changes the game, but whatever. It's gonna be a medieval game because we are playing with the base Rimhammer the End Times mod here. I leave fishing in, but I never use fishing. I don't even really like the fishing mod because, uh, holy shit, it's a fucking busy map, dude. There's a lot of evil forces in the world. <laughs> holy shit. Um, anyways, I think the fishing takes too long and that's frustrating to me. All right, where in the piss? So I want to be around trading partners. I also want to be around enemies that I can go smash in the, and by that I mean Skaven and Beastmen. Smashing Beastmen is always very lucrative. Skaven will not have custom bases yet. I'd like to be around some ogres just to see what, what the hell that's going to be about, but... Okay, I'm going to poke around until I find a good spot. And the poor halflings are just going to get fucking overrun. I kind of like it over here. We do have this main road. We could do a coastal castle. I don't really want to do... I wouldn't mind a coastal map. I don't want to do a river map, though. I kind of like that spot. It's going to get kind of cold there, but it's it looks cool. I mean, I think our ideal goal would be to destroy many of these enemy factions but the thing is there's no dowi to trade with which i guess is fine all right let's see should we do it southern coast butamus all right let's uh let's make ourselves a nice little ideology here i'm gonna try and make something that seems similar to empire religion and basis and sigmar i don't think any of these seem to make sense you could argue Human primacy. Maybe male supremacy. But I don't think I want to go that route. 
I also don't want to keep it too simple. <laughs> uh, they don't really need guilt. They're not Catholic. Oh, <laughs> sorry. All right, well, it's going to be low impact, but there it is. <laughs> Well, it's taken forever to set this up, but I'm getting there. <laughs> you can see all the ogre stuff in here. That's fun. I can also see all the Skaven stuff. So there is a ton of shit. I'm trying to just find something. These shields are kind of lame. I don't know what color scheme I want to go with yet. Probably one of the more interesting ones, though. Well, I mean, by the time... I guess it won't be long before it's Christmas, so why don't we go with Hawkland? And, uh, those Christmas colors. <laughs> Alright, we can alter that. I've just been renaming everything, so we have Elector Counts, Priest of Sigmars, Engineers. I try to make these things as fitting as I could for the fluff of the Empire. We will have some things we can do in terms of ideologion. I still need to fix this set. Don't know what I want for that yet. I guess I'll just leave the weapons the same. Ooh, venerated animals. Let's go with our sweet dog. Because so I know we're going to start with some of these dogs. It's really going to suck when they die. Which they always die. Now I can't even think of the damn name of the dog that we start with. It's fucking fantastic. It's been a long couple days here, people. Oh, a jabber slate. That could be our gen venerated animal. I can even add preferred apparels. I don't know why they're all purple like that. I don't think I'm going to do that. We could add tattoos as well. We are humans. I don't think tribal never suits. Minimal is cool. Cannibal and punk. I mean, probably they wouldn't really allow for face tattoos. But body tattoos, on the other hand, I could see that. Not cannibal. Misc. Yeah, okay. And hopefully this stuff works out. We better not be getting Ogre Kingdom's facial hair. <laughs> that would be fun. Okay, this stuff we don't need. 12 tattoos. I believe I'm finally ready to go and select pawns. Holy shit. It's fucking like half an hour later. I've been dinking with this stuff. All right, I'm going to find some people. She's awoken ethics. That's what my shit is called. Awoken ethics. Jesus, can I change that? How, how do I change that? <laughs> okay, it's, it's got to be editable, right? Yeah, I totally overlooked some vital stuff when setting this up. <laughs> so, Sigmar is always covered in... Ooh, this looks like Sigmar, right? And I don't really care for that color. Alright, that's a little too... Meh. Let's go with a dirty gray. Hey, I mean, Sigmar is always kind of red, too. Let's go with that. That's fine. Oh, shit. No, I didn't. Okay. All right. We're done. Let's finish this off. <laughs> the Church of Sigmar. There we go. That's better. I can make... Oh, pawns. I'm just going to look through here and see what we have to start with. Pretty and kind. Artistic. Not very skillful. All right. For whatever it's worth... There's one, there's two, and there's three. <laughs> uh, let's go. Each person needs a valid name. Why in the world would it say that? <laughs> I have no fuck. Lexi is not a valid name. Okay. Coop. Something has gone wrong. Okay, so the issue there was I had accidentally deleted the last name on one of the pawns I wasn't going to select. <laughs> so go figure that. Maybe it becomes a world pawn or something. I don't know. Either way, it's kind of absurd. Okay, so some of the... Ooh, there's a nice fertile area there. I can reclaim all but these patches of water in here. We have spells now that we can... Reclaim the mud. There's glowstone over there. A lot of glowstone around. That's nice. I'm going to go ahead and forbid or unforbid everything on the map. Oh, this is what I was looking for. Where are these things? 
Well, there's like three of them here and one of them way up there. So probably we'll just build a big ass castle here in the middle. <laughs> we'll see though. Anyway, that's where we're at for now. I'll get everybody equipped. What is that? Oh, ancient mechanoid shell. I'll get everybody equipped and get their work sorted out in between episodes. And uh, then we need to start building. I better have some people to do plant work relatively decently because that's going to be important. I know I also have some injuries to contend with, but nothing major. That's it. Jump in episode one if you want to get into the actual gameplay. I appreciate Ooh, look at that big vein of glowing warp stone over there. I just made that shit glow. I haven't actually seen it in game yet either. That's awesome. Fantastic. I'll see you guys.